that. So we're recording now, so <laughs> even if it doesn't pan out well on the stream, I'll have yep. I'll, I'll I'll be catch on the first game. <laughs> yeah. The the bright side is these specific sets that are getting recorded will be in uh, 1080p as opposed to the 720p I'm streaming in. Oh, excellent. 1080p and 60 frames a second, I think, as opposed to the stream's 30. An excellent opening here from Umbra, just making sure that getting as much damage as possible out there and all oh, with it with the awareness of the b-telly coming in jumps up making it really hard for blue to hit and and that option either jump backing or jump forwarding uh or whatever you know and however you say that just makes makes getting the tellies very difficult but it is it is something that like you just saw there that is uh kind of just a guessing game on when they're gonna do it it's pretty difficult to react to that in time and Blue is getting great damage. Umbra does a fantastic job blocking that cross-up potted plant mix-up. And the low comes through for Blue here. I think Blue is just going to spend the level 1 and cash out for the damage. Yep. Yep. There it goes. I hate that cross-up J.A. Yep, Pap has a pretty good jump on uh, two hits. J.A. is pain. Wow, and an excellent punish on the B telly right there with the 2A. Or 2B, I'm sorry, that's 2B. And Fred coming in says, the loops, brother. I have the loops. Oh, Fred covering Oleander's back this time. Gets the tech into the throw. Blue is a master of tech buttons here. That's the... The super, the knockdown, the basket. Well, no knockdown. Actually, it will be a knockdown. On top of the basket. Mix up. Okay, teleports out of the mix up and punishes a teleport. Wow. Wow, and a great detail coming in right there. And the overhead teleporter from Pap does not hit right there, and Umbra is not going to let that chance go to waste. It's just going to cash out, save all of that meter, and end the round. And that means the next time Pap gets hit in the next round, that is going to be a ton of damage just dumped into Paprika. Um, oh, and gets hit out of the startup of level 1, unfortunately. It was really hard to see, but if you listened, you can hear the... Uh, the laser sound effects start right before Blue hits Umbra out of it. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Blue is locked in the corner with no magic to spare. Definitely not where you want to be right at the start of a round. And a ton of damage is just coming through here from Blue. Gonna cash out for the level 1. I don't know if this kills, but I think the level 2 and straight into detail he might. Yeah. Blue taking game two. Umbra really gotta dig deep to turn this one around, try to figure out what they can do to to stop Blue's onslaught here. It seems like Blue's teleports are just are still catching Umbra a very unawares. I think they catch most people, honestly. So it's, it's definitely something that's really jarring to deal with. FT3, FT3. Oh no, yeah, this is losers finals. You got, you got another chance. Tom, dig deep. Dig deep. Find the broom inside of you and break out the reverse sweep. Hey, Vixie. Uh. Java Morris has been piloting the lasso cancels to incredible effect and is sitting waiting in grand finals for the winner of Umbra versus Blue. Blue is up two to zero right now. 
Ooh. Umbra is uh, digging deep and trying to find the broom within them to break out this reverse sweep. <laughs> <laughs> Teleport still seems to be going by unpunished though, but Umbra does land this hit in the corner. Good damage, Blue's got about half life, and Blue tech rolls into buttons. Tech in the buttons, and I remember I actually was noting this uh, during the last WNF, tech in the buttons is definitely Blue's signature. Yep. Uh, someone was taking advantage of that, I forget who it was, but someone actually was punishing that most of the time, but it's catching every single, like, wake up of the buttons. I think it was oh, Zale, the C teleport. Yeah, that was probably Zale. Zale was just like, I can get a wacky super optimal starter off of this. Smack. <laughs> There it is. Oh, the 2B this time. One teleport too many. Zale, was it, was it you who was punishing Blue for doing uh, tech into buttons at the last TFHWNF? Remember somebody was doing oh, it. Oh, the A card. Oh, nice mash out there after the tech. After the tech, both players are even in frame advantage, but Oleander has the biggest button, so mm -hmm. it's gonna be hard to stop her jab. Oh, the shield of epilogue. Oh, it's still a hit? <laughs> Wild. Gets the crack open okay. right there to seal out the round. Blue with three Trying bars, Trying to walk though. in with a little bit extra meter right there. That's, that's fair. You know what, I can go look at the bracket, because now I need to know the answer to this question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Amaran. Oh, it was Amaran, that's what it was. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, it was, it was an Oleander player of some variety. <laughs> oh no, again, punishes the read. Uh, Umbra has this uh, habit of reading while under the pretense that Fred will protect him, but unfortunately, uh, C teleport is pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, good block. And Fred, still a little bit of Fred time left. Oh, drops, okay. Fred did one last thing before leaving. Let's see if Fred made it count. Two magic, the okay. Dikeli cross up, it absolutely Teleported away. everything right there. Yep. Fred, the true homie. It is now 2-1. Favored in blue. Or a blue in blue's favor. Blah. Um, I apologize. It's 9 o'clock. I had class today. I'm, I'm losing my ability to English. But you know what we hear? We play in the horse game. This game is awesome. Uh, if you don't own this game, buy this game. It's mad cheap. New DLC character on the way. Yep. And just, uh, oh man, this game is so high. But if you can't get over the aesthetic, you know, I understand. And I'm sorry this game is mad sick, but if the aesthetic is something you gotta pass on, you gotta pass on it, I won't blame you. Hey, next to the follow, Vixie. Welcome to the crew. Uh, and now Umbra is starting out strong. It seems like Umbra is getting a bit of momentum in his favor here. After that game win before, it's definitely doing a lot better. I don't know if Blue maybe is slowing down from what he was doing before. Umbra, Umbra can dig deep, definitely. Um, but I think what I've noticed particularly about Umbra after watching a lot of these WNFs is um, Umbra is very good at riding out positive momentum into a match win right um so i'm predicting just like we're seeing right now you know off of that last win we're gonna see a very different umbra in in this set than we did necessarily uh you know in, in games one and game two right right you know blue's getting blue's getting in you know blue's still doing a lot of combos you know blue's playing path they've got the optimal combos it's just it just happens but 
This, this I think is gonna. Oh, it drops it. Oh, the. Oh no. The frame trap. Ah, oh, but the frame trap. Unfortunate. I can't jab. Oh, oh you can't jab. Yeah. Oh, and the crazy, the wild path C telly coming through right there, but drops the, drops the cart loop, and the cross canter. Oh, the cross up. Wow, the cross canter is such an excellent way to deal with that mix up right there. Not blocking high for the the Rekka. I think I am a little bit behind you in the game, actually. As interesting as that is. Oh, interesting. I may have taken a little bit longer to load in. Okay, nice throw. Wow, that was an okay, excellent throw the for seeker. sure. Fred, all right. Two fireballs. All right, try to play it safe now. This time, Epilogue will stop any C teleport. <laughs> oh, the cross counter. That's a lot of damage. Oh, my God. Actually, the next hit will kill Umbra. So, okay. You know he's going to teleport. You know he's going to teleport. Oh, he didn't. Wow, and the teleport cross up. I just saw that. I'm sure on stream you've already seen it. Oh! Wow, the, the D to with the, the D teleport? <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh, I, unfortunate. I don't think he meant to read right there. I do not think so. I think that was supposed to burn the last magic on another D telly. And blue will take it 3 1. Okay, well, good stuff to Umbra. Out of third, there's nothing to sniff at at this type of bracket. Don't go anywhere. So we, we got the top three picture after this bracket. Um, but good stuff. Blue is going to move on to fight Jabba Morris in Grand Finals. Uh, see, okay, I see what the punish is supposed to be there. Oh yeah, it seems like everyone's getting hit by the lag in the game, it seems like. It's... All right, it's grand finals coming through. Java Morris sitting in the winner's side. Blue coming in from losers. Is, yeah. is blue on the loser's run to reset the bracket against Java Morris or are the lasso loops this new newly displayed unintentional tech for arizona going to just smother this run in damage <laughs> we shall see we shall see I'm gonna do the smart thing I should have done, which is open chat on my phone because I'm an intelligent person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, instantly backdash. Wow. Okay, and the, nothing was punished. All right, backdash to full screen, C cart, and then the miss lasso. Oh. Okay. Now we got. A I think he meant to backdash to do a two C, but he was a bit late. Oh, here we go. And we see that damage just yeah arizona dispensing the damage and unlike a and lot of characters that dispense the damage she can also dispense high lows yeah and that damage is so crazy that's meterless and magicless so oh there was there was actually a magic headbook at the end but yeah. like a lot of it is not is uh magicless so and a, lo a lot of that is just from the lasso cancel um it's pretty hard to see if you don't know exactly what you're looking for so for those of you in the chat that uh that may have missed it the first, you know, couple hundred times that Java Morris broke it out here. It is, it is mad fast. You're looking at the sections where Java Morris is going to string several headbucks together in a row for seemingly no reason. You'll see a tiny little brown line coming right okay, out of Arizona's forehead in the same kind of angle as the uh, the up lasso comes out. 
it's very hard to see it's only on the only on the screen for about you know maybe maybe six seven frames um but it's 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 there and you can see it barely um, yeah, and i don't even think it is six frames. i think it's like less, less I think, than I that even i think I it's say. probably like four or five honestly it is very hard to see it is a brief flash on the screen Oh, and that eat is going to cost him. I know Blue is the type of person to eat on purpose, but there is still an animation. That being said, looks like Blue... Oh, drop! Blue has his own drop! And Java Morris gets crossed up. Alright, final round. A car into straight into six C. Okay, gets the magic, pulls full screen for the cross ups, and interestingly, Arizona's one of those characters who is it necessarily at her strongest in the corner because she loses access to the cross-up yep. um, cross setups? Sometimes pulling a mid-screen actually is the play. Oh wow, nice backdash to keep the tech. Same side. I think Blue got mixed up from that. And Doug Morris will take that first game. And I am, I am realizing that this is the salty run back. Yeah, this is the yeah. run back. Yeah, uh, Hyper Hiko asked uh, who who beat Blue in winners, and uh, that made me realize, you know, in winter semis, Java Java sent Blue to losers. Yeah, this is the uh, coming back to get revenge. Yeah, Hyper Hiko, I wasn't. I'm not sure if you heard my explanation of this new. Uh, this new tech that Java has been displaying, but basically you can use the startup of Lasso to cancel the end lag from a headbutt, and then cancel the startup of the Lasso into another headbutt. Depending headbutt. depending on whether they've been playing with Java Morris, you might, I, yeah. I think Java Morris mentioned it, the only reason I knew about it beforehand was because Java Morris mentioned it uh, previously, like, like a few days ago, I think. Mm -hmm. So I think he may have, like some people may have seen it already, I just yeah. had not seen it. This is an absolutely bonkers tech. Like right there. Oh, you see that is. tiny little brown line that shows up? It's super hard to see. It's barely on screen at all, but it is there. It almost it almost looks like a hit spark effect actually. Now we got stomp loops. Keep it safe, nothing fancy. Not going for the super hard, but high damaging tech when a stomp loop will do. Yeah, this is just such a bonkers tech to see come out. I think, okay. That is that is very much just this game's equivalent of the shotgun loop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that life bar right now. I, I think it took so much damage quickly like that. Oh my goodness, that's that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely dominating, just dispensing the damage. Answering back super quickly with very strong rounds. 
it seems like if you, if you make a mistake, this like the matchup already was like this where like Paprika has the bigger buttons, but Arizona kind of has more weight in her punishes. It's 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 less um, now like you make a mistake, you lose half your life. Now it's just like you make a mistake and you die. Yeah. <laughs> This is already not an ideal matchup. Huh. Oh no! Blue did this last WNF and it did not work. It, that, same, that exact same thing happened. <laughs> that is a quick way to be rid of your magic meter though, that's for sure. Yeah, that was also when we noticed that the, the basket way to lose gave your magic three... <laughs> that was when we learned that basket gave three magic backs up for some reason. Yeah. I do, I do wish they'd kept that, uh... Because that, that was just like a really nice little uh, quality of life thing for PAP players. Yep. Ooh, short hops over the tech 2A. And right there, you see blue text right in the buttons. And there's that and lasso loop coming out again. The, uh, or the, yep. the lasso cancel. A good block. Yeah, blue's tech habits are gonna are gonna kill him. Javon Morris kind of is just letting them happen and is punishing them. Yep, tech in, tech in the block is the play here. <laughs> Okay, good push blocks there. That is one of the the better ways of dealing with Paprika's mix-ups, which is just push block her away. Fainting the movement walks into the, the cinnamon roll. Java gonna work to get away from that picnic basket, or at least keep it on the corner of the screen for as long as possible. Yeah. Oh wow, nice! Wow, and a great he jump to avoid. It would have avoided the sea teleport too, so that was a very smart. Wow, and use the use the uh, the cross through headbuck. To avoid the startup on the cross canter and punish with level one super right there. Yeah, I think it was a it was a magic dash. I think it did the magic dash into yeah, super. Yeah, the magic the magic dash. That's the one I was thinking of. All right, and Java Morris pulling ahead two one. I think that was two one. Or was that three? That was uh that was that was the clean three zero right there. Uh, didn't Blue win one? Uh, maybe. Oh, you know what? Wow. I I that could went. I could I could be on crack. That went way faster than I guess Java Morris's games were that fast. Oh wow. Okay, it was three. Oh wow, that was extremely fast. All right, well you guys, follow me for the picture. Also, I should 